Hello everyone and welcome to the Daily Tactics Star Wars Tournament. 16 Star Wars characters from various movies will compete to find out who is the toughest in the galaxy. Each battle will be composed of various rules to make it interesting. Some with infantry only, some with weapon restrictions, or anything else you could possibly imagine. Each match will be as equal in terms of numbers and positioning as possible within game restrictions. But one thing's for sure, the warfare will be epic. So without further ado, here are this week's contestants. Luke Skywalker, the fearless Jedi who owned his craft with the Force and the lightsaber by training with legendary masters Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi. He was the bringer of destruction to the Empire by twice destroying their ultimate weapon, the Death Star. Later in life, he poofed into dust by looking at a sun, but we don't talk about that. Today, he will be commanding a brigade of rebel soldiers. He faces off Commander Cody, who was a strategic mastermind of the Clone Wars. He was renowned for his smart and reliable thinking during battle, fitting the personality of his Jedi General Obi-Wan Kenobi perfectly. After the Clone Wars and Order 66, he began training the Empire's new force of stormtroopers. In this battle, he will be commanding his old 212th Legion troopers. Both sides are geared up and ready to rumble on the battlefield today, but only one of these leaders can win and go on to the next round. Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, and uh, guess who forgot to do uh, voice recording for the newest video? Uh, this guy. So essentially what happened was I pressed start on the battle, and uh, my microphone wasn't plugged in, so all you could hear in the battle was the background noise and the fighting and things like that, and there was no commentary to go along with it. So uh, this is basically me talking in post about it, and um, <laughs> it was a really good battle, so I didn't want to just completely redo it all together because some awesome things happened during it, uh, but at the same time, I didn't want to just upload it without any sort of commentary on it. So I'm just going to provide sort of post commentary. I hope you guys like that. Um, not what I intended to have happen, but it's what's going to have to have happen. I promise the next Star Wars tournament video will have actual commentary with it. But either way, this is just sort of the background, me showing off the map what's happening. Today we find ourselves on feed uh, during the tournament. Basically, each side has the exact same amount of troopers. It's uh, 15 squads of 17 troopers, so it ends up being about 300 troopers in total, I believe. Um, so it's 300 versus 300. Today we're doing infantry only, and it's the Rebel Alliance with Luke Skywalker as their commander versus Commander Cody, who is uh, going to be commanding the 212 Attack Legion for the Clone Troopers. Uh, so here we go. We're pressing start now, and the battle should commence. And yes, each side is marching forward. Uh, essentially, there's sort of two sides to this battle. There's the main side, which what is what we're looking at right now. And then what I just zoomed to, which is uh, the other side of the riverbank where the troopers are much closer and that's where this battle is basically going to kick off right now. So we see the rebels uh, marching forward a little bit here. I'm just fixing the settings a bit. A few of them running, a few of them just sort of walking and they make first contact uh, and they start to shoot at one another across this sort of little patio area. Now the rebels of course have uh, A280s as their main weapon here, which is a very, very strong type of a rifle. Um, and then they have some submachine gunners, which are the E11 troopers, uh, E11 machine guns, or submachine guns. And uh, those are mainly used by the Empire. Uh, however, considering they're the Rebel Alliance and they really have to sort of scrounge and scrap for whatever they have in their arsenal, um, it makes sense that they probably stole some E11s and things like that. Uh, and that's why they're using them as the submachine gun. Now, they also have some uh, various sniper rifles and things like that. Like, they have an A28, A245, I think it is? I, I don't remember the exact number. Uh, but it's a very powerful sniper rifle. I believe it can just about one-shot troopers. Um, probably from the torso up, and then below, it's probably two or three shots. Something like that. But they have that. And then they also have a, various types of machine guns and things like that within their squads. Now, for the clone troopers, their primary weapon is the DC-15A rifle. Um, oh, and right here, you can actually see Commander Cody running around, battling a bit, uh, getting down and dirty with his troopers. He will go down very soon. He's going a little too far ahead and overextending, and these rebels will take him down. I don't know if we get to see that moment in camera. 
And there's Luke over there just sort of derping around, um, peeping around that corner, maybe deflecting some blaster rifle fire, something like that, I don't know. Uh, but you can basically just observe the Rebel Alliance and the clone troopers going up against each other in this long highway in the center of feed right now where the main part of the battle is. And yes, Commander Cody is down at this point, and I show off his body right there. Though, if his troopers win, uh, then he still gains victory, and if Luke goes down and his troopers win, then they will gain victory as well. Uh, but, like I was saying, so the clone troopers have the DC-15A as their main rifle, uh, and then their submachine gun I gave them is the DC-15C. You can see this trooper has it right there, actually. Um, a very close range but very effective weapon in the Star Wars universe. Then for sniper rifles, they have the DC-15X, which as we know is just an absolutely brutal weapon. It is so powerful, and actually that trooper right there has one, it is rifling off. Um, 55, the notorious clone trooper in Rico's Brigade, got 55 kills in one game with the DC-15X, which is just incredibly impressive. Um, so, uh, the clone troopers have that for their sniper rifle. Uh, then they also have various machine guns and things like that. Alternative weapons sort of miss and match there, but um, that is their main weaponry for this battle. So, as you can tell, I tried to make it kind of even in terms of what each trooper has. Uh, regardless, on this other side of the riverbank right now, the uh, rebels and the clone troopers seem to be sort of hunkered down in their various positions, a few troopers probing here and there and trying to pop in, uh, but ultimately getting destroyed. It seems like the rebels at the moment are sort of winning this side of the battle. Big grenade right there takes out a rebel trooper. Uh, quite a shame that he didn't notice that land at his feet. You know, it's the AI though. Um, so yeah, it does seem like right now the Rebels are sort of winning this part of the riverbank. We will see some counterattacks uh, coming in from the Rebels pretty soon and some counter-counterattacks from the clones. Really, this side of the riverbank is where uh, this match is won or lost in this battle. Um, it really ends up being a huge point of contention, and we will get to see that later on, which is kind of exciting. It's a very cool map. And I do actually kind of want to do an entirely separate video on that tiny little bridge we saw in the beginning of the battle. Just because that bridge is such a choke point. I think it would be really cool to just do an entire video focusing on just that point on this map. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool. Um, so while that sort of riverside battle is happening, which is a much slower paced battle than this main one. There's far less troopers there. And um, there's less action as well. Each sort of movement is very... Um, sort of calculated on that side of the battlefield while over here it's just a cluster of attacking and defending and it seems like the rebels and the clone troopers both sort of go for this tiny little alleyway uh choke point type of a thing over here on the side uh and both of them sort of just start cramming troopers down there trying to push them forward and we can actually see there's luke's lightsaber right there luke does go down pretty early in the battle like commander cody did as well uh, but we're seeing these troopers just sort of stack up one against another uh, and all file in through this tiny little choke point. And it seems like the rebels sort of start by handling this choke point much better. They're, they're keeping their men back and allowing for the clones to push in. Um, and then they just do the little gotcha with their weapons and, and take them out. Not that um, the clones aren't getting kills on the rebels. They are, but I think the rebels are taking a much better stance in this sort of situation right now and we're seeing a few clones you know taking a breather trying to uh heal back up a little bit both sides do have the same amount of health by the way everything about this battle is perfectly even um i really tried to make it that way i spent probably an hour actually making this battle just trying to make sure that um the decisive factor wasn't anything to do with um like the placement of troops, the number of troops, the health of troops, that sort of a thing. It's more about, um, well, there's a lot of luck to it, but then it's also sort of like how the troops use what they've got sort of a thing. So it's a very even battle, and you'll see that at the end because it, it's not like it comes down to a few hundred troopers left alive on one side. It, it gets very close, um, and we'll see that sort of excitement, and that's why I wanted to keep this footage and do commentary over it because it was such a cool battle. Here's me trying to get some screenshots of these troopers standing there with their DC-15As. I don't know why, but I thought they looked so cool on that bridge. But you can see that the clone troopers did end up taking that bridge, um, which will be a key part of this battle later on. Whoever wins that bridge ends up controlling 
quite a bit right now and we see the rebels though on the other side of the riverbank with the bridge um they managed to beat back those clone troopers and bring their numbers down quite significantly there's only four clone troopers left compared to about 16 or 17 rebels right there but the clones can cut them off towards the main part of the battlefield over here because they hold that bridge so those troopers are gonna have to have some sort of conflict at the bridge at some point here either way the choke point over here still is occurring and um neither side seems to really have won it or lost it um here's me i think i'm trying to point out these yeah the medic troopers right here which is something i've never used in a battle before and i thought they looked so cool um and this is me just like if you could hear the commentary it's me just going oh i love them they look so cool yada 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 you know how i get excited about stupid stuff um but I definitely plan on doing some more with those medic troopers. I think they look sick. Um, I didn't know they were in the mod until I was like, oh, they're medics? What? And I tried them out. I was like, wow, these guys look awesome. Uh, either way, we actually see the rebels playing a bit more dominantly over here. They're actually pushing in further than the clones are. And um, they're making use of that nice... Uh, blockade there in the middle which wasn't really being utilized very much we can see that there aren't very many losses around there most of the losses are occurring on the right side or the left side no one's really trying to go down the middle and that actually almost makes the middle like a flanking point which is very strange because you know flanks are usually on the flank but if the rebels or the clone troopers sort of make a massive push down the middle they can spread out to either side and get some kills that way and we might just a little sneak peek be seeing that a little bit further on which is very very cool um, now I'm just sort of showing off how there are still various units all over the map just sort of chilling uh, not getting too involved in the battle and that's something you'll see a lot during this battle is there are always points of contention there's always some fight happening but uh, there are places where it takes a break for a minute and then reinvigorates which I think kind of makes this battle even cooler it's very guerrilla warfare inner city street fighting which I think is excellent um oh one second i just wanted to unplug my fridge there uh i always forget to unplug i have this mini fridge in my dorm basically um and i don't put a lot of stuff in there actually uh i don't know it might not have been uh totally worth the purchase but like it's kind of nice to be able to like put some yogurt in there or something like that but um i think actually all that's in there right now is uh there's some toast not toast it's not toast yet. There's uh, bread in there, uh, and then there's some half and half for my coffee. Oh, and there's there's coffee itself in the in the freezer portion, uh, which is kind of nice because it keeps the coffee nice and fresh if you keep it in the freezer portion, which is kind of cool. Um, I didn't know that until my mom taught me that. Um, and then, yeah, usually I'll I'll keep some like uh, deli meats and stuff like that in there, but I'm all out of deli meats meats, but I've still got this bread, so now I'm like. I don't want to let this bread go to waste, but like, I'm not just going to eat bread. So I need to run to the store at some point and get some deli meats. Or I can use the downstairs toaster, which is like a common room kitchen kind of a thing. And they've got a toaster there, but it's kind of gross. And I don't exactly want to toast my toast there. Um, and then I'd also have nothing to put on the toast. Like I don't have any jams or butters. So like, uh, I'm just eating cooked bread and that's kind of boring too. I don't know what to do. <laughs> There's my little side rant here during this battle. It's way harder. Okay, I know uh, people like pixelated Apollo and um, I think sometimes like Prince of Macedon. Um, I don't know if the Shermanator ever does this, but like a lot of people do this style of video where they record the battle and then they record themselves over the battle sort of commentating over it. I don't think I'm capable of doing that. Like I find it way harder because this is like a half an hour long battle. I, like during the battle itself I was able to you know talk about it the whole time and have things to say which was really cool um, and that's what I normally do obviously but now in post I'm like all right I can't like move the screen around I can't do all these things so I just kind of stuck here like whatever past daily did is what I got to talk about but I don't know what I was talking about at that time so I'm just like oh yeah here's some rebel troopers do 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 I don't know it's kind of tough um I promise this won't become a regular thing. I hope you guys can put up with it for one video. Um, but yeah. So we can see this bridge is actually going under attack again by some of the rebels. Uh, but the rebels get quickly shut down by the clone troopers who were all set up and ready to take them out. Then over here in the middle again, the clones actually do a bit of a counter attack here. And we're seeing them pushing the rebels back. Whereas earlier the rebels were pushing them back. However, the rebels do a nice job of just sort of stopping them in their tracks and 
gunning a lot of them down before they can really get a foothold there. Uh, so we'll see a lot more of this sort of attack, counterattack tactics that are going on here in the middle, and we'll see at one point the Rebels have the upper hand, at one point the Clones have the upper hand, and we've already sort of seen that switch sides every few so often here. Um, and that will not stop until the very end of the battle. This was such an unbelievably even match. Uh, it was kind of crazy, actually. So now we're seeing it's actually kind of a lull point. Each side is like, well, I don't want to advance forward um, or else I get gunned down. And the enemy's not advancing, so... All right, we'll just all sort of reset here. And they all do that, and, and then the battle sort of erupts once again. It does look like the clones should have the upper hand here. Uh, but the Rebels, that grenade ends up being huge for them. Uh, and then we also see the Rebels managing to gun down quite a few clone troopers in the back over here. I remember this part of the battle. I was like, oh, the Rebels are going to totally lose the upper hand here. And then they kind of kill it. They actually come in clutch in this uh, sort of scramble for position. And they end up totally dominating over the clone troopers there. I'd say they killed double the amount that they lost or something like that. Um, and then we just sort of get back into more of this common skirmishing every so often a trooper goes down or um, needs to heal things like that for both sides and it's sort of this equilibrium of neither side managing to fully take the advantage and it won't be until later in the battle where we see one side just start really crushing it and even then the battle is not over there is still time for redemption from the other side which is really cool um, in my book, when a battle just has a lot of back and forth and there's no clear winner until the very end, I think that's the best kind of battle. Then you know you set up a nice battle because it lasts a while, it's cool, the um, outcome is unpredictable, and you just don't really know what's happening. Uh, which is just kind of sick. But we see the Rebels actually start advancing a little bit further in now, um, taking a sort of aggressive stance here but the grenades start flying and the rebels start going down um, and the clones are able to sort of stave them off from another attack here which is very good uh, by the way guys uh, the last Rico's Brigade came out yesterday and it had just a phenomenal response I tried actually really really hard on that video I spent a long time editing it and um, to see you guys really enjoy it so much meant a ton to me um, I, I worked really hard on that, and to see you guys enjoy the hard work that I did m just meant so much. It was an unbelievable response, and seriously, like, having a collab with um, Pixelated Apollo was also one of the coolest things ever. It was truly phenomenal. Uh, either way, we see the Rebels actually pushing really, really far in, and it looks like the clones might have a hold on them, but then that one random grenade goes out and actually ruins the clone defensive, and more Rebels are able to push in, and they get one massive sweep here and take out a whole number of clones. The clones are still kicking a little bit. There's this silence as everyone heals, uh, and no one's really sure what to do. This one guy, this is the biggest derp I've ever seen. The Rebels are like, eh, whatever, we'll let this guy buy, whatever. And I was joking about that during the video. Um, but inevitably, the uh, the clones fire and the rebels start just absolutely demolishing them. Because at this point, the rebels surround the clones. Uh, that guy over there does end up going down. Um, and the rebels finally make the big push that one side needed to make. And they end up taking this area. Uh, but there are still clone resistors all around. We can see on this left side over here. Uh, and I'll show it. Yep, there's a few guys with down to just their pistols they'll cause some trouble later on there's a few guys back there and uh, one guy back there then off to the side over here in this sort of offshoot these these clone troopers these five end up wreaking havoc on some rebels and we'll definitely be seeing that a little bit later on uh, but they just sort of use their numbers to their advantage as the rebels start to trickle into their area um, they hold that corner very nicely right now I'm showing off the bridge over here and it looks like the uh, clones completely controls one side of the river now and the rebels completely control the other side uh, but we're still seeing very very even numbers and neither side is making huge pushes the rebels are sort of like teasing a little bit here and there but the clones just sort of stop them and they're like okay well we won't attack now but eventually they, we do end up seeing some very very massive attacks later on as well so this bridge position ends up being highly contentious and um straight to the very end this position is awesome and that's why I want so badly to do a bridge battle over here 
uh, in just an entirely separate video because it's such a sick position. This one trooper goes a little too far out and gets just completely gunned down. Such a mistake on his part. Uh, both sides essentially need to hunker down here and wait for the other to attack. And uh, we'll definitely be seeing who ends up attacking later on. Back towards the middle here, it's sort of gone quiet, but the clones begin to push actually a little bit, even though they're outnumbered about three or four to one probably at this point. They're still trying to pick off a few rebels here and there, and they do not give up. Uh, these guys fight till the bitter end. Um, and they, they do, the losses really start to mount over here for the clones. Um, but we're seeing this machine gunner sort of tickle at that clone trooper over there and that one over there. It's a lot of sort of peeking around corners from now on. Trying to see if you can do a little bit of damage. Maybe take a guy out and then you peek back around your corner hoping you don't die. Um, and both sides sort of adopt this strategy. Neither side fully commits to things um, all together. And we see a few machine gunners for the rebels taking out a few clones who got a little too cocky. Um, and now the clones will sort of huddle behind their walls, behind their, their buildings. They don't have a ton of, like, very good structures to take cover behind. They don't have any boxes. They don't have any crates or sandbags or things like that. They've just got this open patio area with large buildings. So they need to hug the will buildings and make sure they don't get attacked. The rebels start to retreat a little bit. The clones sort of follow them, thinking, hey, maybe we can gain back some valuable positions. Uh, and then it ends up being sort of a ploy by the rebels to sort of draw out the clones. Uh, but the clones realize this, and they respond in turn with a lot of fire and a nice grenade there on that guy behind the pillar. Um, and now these two pistol guys end up coming out. They both die, but then this rebel doesn't realize that he threw a grenade and he gets blown up too. So a two for uh, two for one right there sort of thing. And, uh, you know, as the rebels, I would definitely take that. And as the clones, I would take that too because the clones are sort of getting into desperate situations. They need to start getting these kills because at this point, the rebels do outnumber them. So we see a lot of this sort of switching positions uh, back and forth, men sort of walking around and rotations going on. Um, this clone trooper sort of laying on the ground waiting for a rebel to sort of come around that area. He bails. He's got some men behind him backing up, though. Now I go back to the bridge, show this off a little bit. It looks like some rebels have tried to come over some more, uh, but ended up getting gunned down. More of them just sort of hugging these walls around here. The clone's still uh, holding that riverbank wall. Nothing really to ha is happening currently at the bridge battle. Uh, but back here, the rebels start poking around those, um, those pillars again. A few clones go down. Uh... And a few rebels go down, so it, I'd say even losses right now. The clones walking around trying to get better angles on the rebels. The rebels still utilizing this pillar cover, which is actually going to turn out to be pretty great for them. But they're advancing on these clone troopers. They want to end this thing rather quickly and get to the bridge battle to help out their comrades over there. Because on the bridge side, I would say the clones definitely have the advantage, but in this side, the rebels certainly do. Uh, but we got these two clone captains actually over here. Still alive, still holding this angle quite nicely. And um, these guys, I think, stay alive for a bit longer. It's kind of funny that they're both captains, but oh well. Um, and then there's also this guy over here with a pistol and uh, this medic in the tunnel. And we'll see some awesome things from that medic in the future. All right, so there's still some skirmishing going on around here. Rebels probing, clones sort of setting them back. And then uh, this guy over here sort of goes into an open pillar over there he's looking for the angle on these two clone captains and he walks out and he starts to sort of sally forth and then the clones see him and they start busting him with some uh some fire he retreats back behind another pillar and he peeks out he thinks there's a guy to the right over there but he doesn't see the clone captains i think he thought he was getting shot from the right and then he sees him as he pulls out again he actually manages to get one kill and he's about to get the second here but no, he doesn't manage to pull off enough shots. We see he misses quite a bit, and this clone captain is still alive. You see the medic sort of pushing in through the tunnel. Uh, this clone trooper with the pistol tried to do a nice little flank on the rebels, but ends up getting shot down before he can get to cover. Um, and so now I believe we're down to two troopers in here, just the captain and just the medic. So the clones have seriously diminished the amount of troopers they have available to them over here. And uh, Commander Cody's force is... It's looking bad. It's looking abysmal. There's probably like eight rebels over here and only two clone troopers. Uh, but these guys will not give up. They're still fighting. They're still coming through this tunnel. Um, and they're still trying trying their best. Here comes this clone medic here. And 
Kapuya. <laughs> I just love that. This dude just absolutely sallies up to this dude and beats him on the head. It's like they both sort of made eye contact and were like, we're, we're doing a melee fight, right? This is happening. We, we're not going to use our weapons. We're, we're going straight in, fist to cuffs. Uh, and he takes him out. His medic is an absolute baller. Um, and then we've got this rebel over here who's like trying to camouflage into the wall, being like, you don't see me. Uh, it's super weird. Captain sallying forth, medic sallying forth. Um, and meanwhile, remember, there's still like seven rebels alive over here. And they're sort of looking for the rebels. They don't see them. And I think they just sort of both missed each other. The rebels were rotating, the clones were rotating, and they didn't run into each other. Um, so now they're just sort of looking around, trying to find where they're at. And the rebels, I believe, are a bit further back and to the left over here. And yeah, there's this derpy guy right here. And I was wondering if he was stuck or something. Um, oh, and there's a rebel right behind there. And uh, this clone captain shoots him down with the DC-15C because the rebel sadly had to reload. And uh, I think if he didn't have to reload there, he would have been just fine. But sadly, he did. This uh, clone medic is just sort of laying on the ground over there to the right. Uh, the captain actually over here gets taken out by a rebel soldier who was in the pillars there. And uh, I told you, those pillars come in handy for the rebel alliance. Big time. Big time. Um, yeah, you can barely even see this clone medic right here. I mean, he's just laying down amongst the bodies. He's basically perfectly camouflaged there. Um, but he gets up and he's, he's looking for a hunt here. And he's going up to another rebel. And Kapuya! <laughs> This dude is Rocky Balboa of clone troopers. He is an absolute beast. Uh, he just yes, melees the crap out of two dudes. It's impressive. Uh, and now he just sort of takes cover behind this wall. Um, there's a few rebels around him. He knows this. He sees this guy. This guy is lining up the shot, but he doesn't take it. And our medic, he doesn't take it either. And they're just sort of like, all right. You know what? What's this fighting about? Why are we doing this? We should just be friends, don't you think? Like, we're both fighting for Jedi. We're both fighting for good causes here. These aren't Order 66 clones. These are original Commander Cody clone troopers. So they're like, you know what? Peace, brother. It's all good. Don't worry about it. You know, you killed some of my guys. I killed some of your guys. What's the point of all this fighting? We should just, you know, let's have a beer. Let's hang out. Let's be friends. And so now there's just this sort of unspoken peace agreement between the rebels and the clones that, you know what, we're going to be cool from now on. And there's no trouble. Kapuya! Psych! And then the clone breaks the peace and absolutely yeets a rebel there. The rebels respond with some fire. Uh, this guy takes him out with a dome shot. Grenades being thrown actually hurts that rebel to his left over there. I don't remember if that guy's killed or he's just knocked out. Uh, so this clone sees him. He runs away. He's trying to get to a bit of cover here. Um, and he just takes this moment to heal real quick because he is super low on health. But he has kapuyad three dudes now, which is crazy. Uh, and now the clones on the riverbank are still just sort of in their same position. They really don't move too much during this battle in the very beginning. Um, except there's a few guys sort of probing the bridge too. So that's kind of neat to see. Uh, so the medic over here is fully healed up. He's ready to go and, uh, and beat some more dudes. So this has sort of gone from an 8v2 over here to like a 1v3, I think, or something like that. It really shows the clone spirit in this battle. Really, really impressive. This situation should have not happened, but um, they totally pulled it through. I was just checking to see if that guy was stuck, and I think he might have been, so I just unstuck him from the wall. You see there's a few rebels messing about over there, walking around, patrolling the area, looking for that clone medic. This, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's, what's happening <laughs> with this AI right now, but the, the medic and the other dude just don't don't kill each other. Which is fine. I mean, peace, man. Peace. Um, you know, they're like, what, dude, why'd you break the peace agreement? Come on, man. That wasn't cool of you. And the clone's like, you know what? You're right. You know, I should have been more chill about it. But back to the bridge over here. I heard some shooting. It does look like uh, this clone is probing the defenses of the rebels. He gets grenaded and he jumps off the bridge. And it, he obviously didn't miss leg day because he holds on to the bridge with his legs. <laughs> And he comes back out and we go back to the medic over here and it looks like he does end up shooting that guy and he also shoots the um, 
The rebel captain, I learned, also dies during that battle. So this clone has gotten two more kills uh, since we went and looked at the bridge. And now he's healing up a little bit more. So this situation has gone from an 8v2 to now a 2 versus 1. There's one guy stuck in that sort of patio area, that garden, which is super weird. I don't know how he got in there. Um, and then the other guy is further back behind him. And then this medic has taken the center area by himself, which is amazingly you, impressive. Like, you've got to give him a hand. Um... This guy on the bridge is still sort of dueling a few rebels. I don't think he's gotten any kills. I don't think they've gotten any kills. Or maybe he has gotten a kill or two. I'm not totally sure. But uh, not a ton is happening over here. It's just sort of back and forth. Skirmishing, that sort of a thing. Uh, Re <laughs> rebels keep throwing grenades at him. He keeps jumping off the bridge and hanging on with his toes, which is impressive. <laughs> Um, one rebel does come on the bridge and he just domes him right there. Now he's skirmishing with a guy a bit farther away. Uh, but he's getting hit a good amount. And uh, he's getting grenaded. It's it's looking pretty bad for this guy over here. He uh, he probably shouldn't have come too far forward without uh, some assistance. Though he did end up getting quite a quite a number of kills by himself, which is so awfully impressive, you know. Yeah, so he's just sort of chilling. And uh, actually, on the mini map, you can see some lasers are are firing where our medic friend was, and I actually missed um, what happens over there, which is very very sad because. I would have liked to see what happened with... I wanted to, to follow our medic, tr like, sort of story all the way through, but I, I totally spaced and, and was focused on this bridge battle and seeing what was happening over there. Um, and I just sort of miss what happens. I hear that distant scream, and I look over, and the medic is nowhere to be seen. He, uh, he ended up dying to Garden Boy over here, um... <laughs> And I do find his body right there on the corner. It looks like he was peeking around it and getting, got domed. But, I mean, this dude was a real champ. He um, killed two guys with his bare hands, hit, knocked another out with his fists, and then shot, like, four or five dudes. Like, the dude's a legend. But what do you think we should name that medic? Just, like, in his honor, we should name him because he was an absolute beast. Um, at this point, I do decide to move both sides towards the bridge area because I realized it had quickly turned into a stalemate so to make things even i move both sides directly into the bridge area um it's completely even still i mean they basically have the same amount of numbers but i just sort of move them in and uh the clones take this opportunity to start actually going onto the bridge keep in mind i didn't send them onto the bridge i just sent them both to their opposite ends of the bridge but the clones take it upon themselves to go onto the bridge and begin skirmishing with the rebels a little bit here and they start to grenade over the side uh which is a brilliant tactic but they're also going to receive some grenades and they're going to take some losses due to that i thought that grenade right there that the clones received was going to be devastating it really wasn't but a few of them try to round the corner over here but get gunned down by a line of rebels who have set up on that ridge um a few more clones begin to go down uh but they're still skirmishing and they're still fighting these rebels uh which is awfully impressive and they could have stuck to the side of the bridge they could have stuck to the riverbank and set up a defense but instead they choose to attack and that really sort of shows the clone spirit there never giving up the fight and i'm still trying to get these rebels to sort of come forward um that guy was stuck obviously but i was like you know what everyone I, I told the clones to get to the front of the bridge. I told you guys to get to the front of the bridge. I will stick to it. You guys have to come to make things even. So uh, I really tried to keep the ending to this battle quite even, but at this point it was a 30-minute battle, and uh, I needed to uh, get on with my day. Uh, so I really just started forcing each other forward, and losses begin to sort of even out here. Every time the clones get a kill, the rebels get a kill too. The rebels have a perfect opportunity to utilize this choke point, but... They're not really taking advantage of it right now, and the clones are managing to sort of steamroll the guys opposite them with their superior numbers and firepower because the rebels aren't committing enough troopers to them. Uh, but you gotta give props to the rebels who are fighting from a distance and working on killing some of these clones. They're pretty brave soldiers, you know, going up against larger numbers uh, to try and do some stuff. There's a big assault right now from the rebels, and they managed to go in and actually get a few kills, um, but the clones beat them back a little bit. Um... And, uh, and score some of their own kills. Still, all this time, grenades going off. That was a terrible one. Ended up landing in the water, but oh well. Um, and so, yeah, we're still continuing to see losses from both sides. It's a very even match right now. Up until the very end, it's tit for tat. No one side claiming, um, you know, huge numbers or anything like that. Like, it's never a dominant battle. And another rebel goes down right there. 
there's still this line up against this fence, which is a huge problem for the clones, because if they try and round that corner, they're just gonna get absolutely blasted, just like that, um, which is just really, really rough. But if the Rebels try and assault them, then they're just gonna get absolutely blasted as well. Um, so another sort of stalemate here, as we we don't know what either side's gonna do. Neither side can do all that much. But uh, one clone decided to stay back there, so I was like, whatever, he can. Um, and uh, it's sort of just peace and quiet again for just a minute here. Neither side fully committing any troopers. And uh, I don't know what I was talking about during this time. <laughs> oh yeah, I decided to speed it up a little bit. Um, and we see a few more assaults from the clones. The rebels still sort of sticking to that position. And as long as they do that, I think they've got this battle in the bag, basically. Um, if they just stay there. They can win this so easily because the clones are going to keep on trying to push that choke point and keep on failing. And we see them do it again. And they continue to lose a few more soldiers every time they do that. So it's not the most brilliant strategy, but it's something the clones apparently feel passionate about and will continue to do until they all die. But then we see the rebels start to attack. Um, and this is the big mistake coming from the rebels. I pause the game and put it back into normal speed because this is like the climax sort of moment. Huge grenades going out. These grenades could tell the end of the battle, and it seems like more clones survived those grenadings than the, uh, the rebels. Rebels push in a little bit here, working on getting another kill. It's a, like a 4v8 situation now. The clones have made the comeback and, uh, are superior in numbers to the rebels. More grenades getting thrown here. Uh, knocks that guy unconscious, though. He's still alive, just unconscious. Rebel tries to poke out, tries to get a kill, but he gets gunned down before he can. We see the rebels trying to heal a little bit. And uh, the clones sort of do the same, but then this clone sort of leans up against it, gets a nice little kill there. And uh, quiet once more, and then the, the clones just completely come forward, take some losses though, grenades being thrown, um, and the clones manage to get one more kill there. Um, and there's still one more rebel off in the brambles. He actually throws a grenade at this guy um, and manages to get the kill there. So now it's a 1v4 situation. So... Like I said, till the bitter end, these two sides are almost exactly even on troopers, which is just impressive. This guy survives the grenading. He's in very, very thick foliage right now, basically. Um, but he's continuing to get grenaded. And uh, I believe that grenade does do him in. So the clones do end up gaining victory here. Commander Cody will move on to the next round in this battle. It was a doozy of a battle. I mean, these four guys were the deciding factor between loss and victory. If one grenade had killed four more clones than rebels, they would have won. Or if the rebels had managed to have a few more troopers survive than the clones. Like, this was such a close battle. I thought it was honestly one of the best battles I've ever done, um, I have to say, which is awesome. Each of these guys had like three to four kills, which is kind of cool to see as well. And now I'm just sort of showing off the losses. Red are the dead rebels. Yellow are the dead clones. And obviously the losses were almost exactly even. The clones just ended up having four more troopers than the rebels did. Um, really sick. Awesome battle. I very much so hope you guys enjoyed. Comment and subscribe if you did. I'm so sorry that the live commentary didn't work. I had to do this post-production commentary. I hope you guys didn't mind too much. Regardless, uh, the next... Star Wars Tournament episode will be next Sunday. Hopefully that time I'll have live commentary. Uh, check out all my links in the description if you want to get more supportive with the channel. But uh, just watching the videos is supportive enough. Uh, thank you guys so much. I'll see you all later. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.